The protest is because the chief executive who runs this organisation is threatening to cut staff pay by huge amounts and as they won't accept or if they don't accept the new contract she's imposing on them, which could lead them, lose them up to £16,000 a year, um, they will be sacked. They've all had termination letters if they haven't signed this new contract and why would they? Uh, who could afford to lose £16,000 a year? Um, by the end of March they will be sacked and she will be left with a hundred people who won't be working on the 1st of April. I'm uh, Patricia Maloney, I, a GMB uh, representative and uh, I work for Prospect and I'm here because I'm very angry what the Chief Executive is doing to the hard working staff and cutting their pay, their sick pay, their uh, all their allowances taken off them and uh, we work hard enough and our pay, we haven't had a pay rise for four years, and now that she's issued us all notices to terminate our contracts, giving us 90 days notice, and that's from the 31st of March, if we don't sign the new contract, we're all sacked. And I think it's appalling what she's doing, and that's why I'm here today. I work in a residential home do, do. and I look after um, chaps with severe learning disabilities so it's, it's um, intense but it's really rewarding but we deserve what we get, we earn what we get and we're valued or we should be and we're being made to feel like we're not anymore. We were too paid over and told that our contracts, our terms and conditions wouldn't be changed and um, well they are being changed. Yeah. Regardless yeah. of what we were told, yeah. yeah. What sort of changes are they trying to make? Uh, ridiculous ones to our um, our pay, annual leave, maternity leave, sickness, everything basically. It's been slashed. Morale is terrible. It's disheartening, shocking. No one actually seems to, apart from the GMB and what we're doing, uh, no one seems to care. In prospect, I should say, to be acceptable to do this to people, even though we've been told it wouldn't happen. And what's the sort of feeling um, amongst your colleagues, amongst staff, about what's happening? It's uh, pure anger. They're so disgusted. And some of them is even so scared that they're afraid they're going to lose their homes mm. because of the cuts. And, uh, and it's, it's just the same throughout the whole organisation, the staff are just, the morale is rock bottom. Mm. Basically that's... Uh, that's what's happening. Yeah, that's yeah. what's happening. We will be stepping up the campaign against her. Um, she cannot be allowed to get away with this. And it is very much targeted at this chief executive because she is the one who is imposing the cuts. She has a board of trustees. I don't think they know anything about this. I think they are totally unaware of the way she is treating her staff. But very shortly they will be because we will be ramping up this campaign and they will know about it. Toss her